Tonight, people across the metro have growing concerns over our drinking water. This after Casey Water announced a test failed to meet a state standard. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial joins us live in Kansas City. Stephen, did officials say that customers should be worried about this? Dia, they say you shouldn't be worried. All week long, the Missouri River behind me has been swelling, but tonight the concern is not on possible flooding in Kansas City. It's about the safety of the water. I was a little concerned, but I personally don't have to worry because I don't drink tap water. 177,000 Kansas City water customers got an alert that has some like Don Coates concerned. After a week of flood water making its way to the city, the testing of that water failed a state standard. We have found no evidence of anything bacterial or anything harmful. Brooke Givens with the water department says customers should not be worried about the safety of the water. This time with so much flooding water, it's just made the problem larger. We're seeing treatment conditions that we haven't seen in more than a decade. The water department tells me all week people have been saying when they go to pour a glass of water, it kind of looks or tastes different. And they say while that may be the case, it is still safe to drink. I suppose if it doesn't meet the state standards, I would assume that we should think that it doesn't meet Kansas City standards. The city of Blue Springs shut down the water intake from Kansas City. Given says as the water recedes, the quality of the water will improve. There is no boiled water advisory. There is no boil order in place whatsoever. If there were to be one, we would absolutely let people know immediately. Now, the Missouri River is expected to crest sometime tonight, but according to water officials, they tell me they're not expecting any levees to break or any major flooding events to happen here in the city tonight. Reporting live, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News. Stephen.